Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be showing you M Title Restyle. Now, you might not know it by just looking at it, but this coin is going to dictate how this tutorial goes. Let's see. Luckily, M Title Restyle is available now. Check out this text. Isn't it awesome? I did that with M Title Restyle. You know why? Because I'm a winner. Only winners use M Title Restyle. Only winners. I'm a winner. I want to be a winner. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, everyone. Oh, we're going to talk about this for forever. All right, now that you've seen a few of the things you can do with M Title Restyle, let's jump into the tutorial. And once again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at M Title Restyle. M Title Restyle can be located in your titles. M Title Restyle comes with eight add ons, 10 backgrounds, six descriptions, 11 overlay effects, and 30 typography presets. In order to apply M Title Restyle, simply click and drag your title over top of your desired area above your clip. So as you can see here in our introduction, we have a color look applied to the first few clips in our scene. Color look can be located in your overlay effects. Now, Color Look and the rest of M Title Restyle are working as adjustment layers. Let's open our inspector. And we can see that we have our animation options in and out. And then we have this Color Look mode. So as you can see, as I adjust that mix, it is making changes to our clip beneath based on the mode that we're in. There are a lot of different options that all look really good. You can make additional changes by going down in your inspector and you have your levels, contrast, and footage saturation and value. So because I have dragged this title over both of my clips here, you can see that it is adjusting all of the clips beneath. I think that my contrast might be a little bit too much. So let's go back into contrast strength and just bring that down a bit. There we go. Much better. So you can also see that we begin a slow push in on these sections and our typography is also being animated that is because this color look and the rest of M title like I said are working as adjustment layers so we went into our inspector in our transform properties and we placed a keyframe and we just did a slow push on our scale to the end of our clip so that we get that push and we placed our typography beneath our color look title so we're getting that animation on our text as well now for this typography we use typography number 12 which can be found in our typography options in m title restyle right here and you can see that amazing cracked glass look we placed our title so that the animation would hit right as our music hits to give that cracked glass illusion and look. Of course, we have our animations in and out. We have our in and out defocus. We have our on-screen controls as always. But of course, you can make changes to your position, rotation, and scale in the inspector. We have our text options here. 
You can make changes to your font if you would like. And then we get down to the fun stuff, which are our title parts flow on and off. And what that is doing is that animation of our text, as you see it kind of is floating away there. So if you wanted to make any adjustments to that, you can do so using your different part rates. I really like the default for this, so we are going to leave that as is. And then we have our glass on and off. Our glass opacity, range, color, and our refraction. As we push down, we do have just a few overlay effects that I used almost as a transition here, which was just the interlace distortion and our film dirt, which again can be found in overlay effects. So we had a little bit of static going on as if a TV was changing channels and then it goes into our next section. Again, we have our color look. And with this one, we have our color look mix all the way at 100%. You can see what it's doing there. And we're using the fade. But again, you can make changes just the same with this one. Or if you would like, you can go to your custom look. And any changes that you make will be applied to your custom look. Now again, we did something similar, and that is we placed a keyframe toward the end so that there would be a push onto our frame and onto our title, which is below typography number one. But that just gives it a little bit of movement right there toward the end with that same keyframe on our color look adjustment layer. In typography number one, you can see again, we have our on-screen controls, animations in and out, our content position options, our title options, and then the fun stuff here, we have our title melt position, rotation, and distortion. And what this is doing is you can see the text is just kind of floating and melting away as I make those adjustments to X and Y. Now this is going to happen over a period of time because it is animated. So you can see now that the text is going in those directions at a nice slow pace based on the duration of our title. As we continue to go down, in this one we have our distortion dense on and off. You can see what that is doing to our title. And then we have our different offsets vertical and horizontal and our strength etc and prism on top of our title which if we turn that up you can see really what it's doing there as well as our prism mix so you can see kind of a prism glow around our text there and blur just to add a little bit of blur into that title we move down our timeline we've got a lot going on here so we have the winner description number three which is going to be in our descriptions and there are a lot of really good ones and I really debated which one I wanted because I just kind of like them all but I felt that description number three for this is the best it's just a little bit more subtle and it's happening down here in our frame. We're also using typography number seven. Again, on screen controls as always, animations in and out, our title options, and then we have our half tones that we can toggle on and off. You can see what that's doing there, as well as the parameters beneath, our title defocus, and those parameters beneath. And then our reflections and color 
Now, this is not the default color. I went in and used my color selector to pick a color that was on our trophy here so that our title would have that kind of glow behind it and all of our colors are matching. Beneath that, we have our frame and you can see we have on-screen controls here as well. And if you'd like to give a bit more of a frame, you can do so with your on-screen controls for your width. And then beneath that, we have our color look going over the rest of the video, which here we turned our animations in and out. We turned those off. We're using the custom look and we just went in and made our shadows a bit brighter so that we could really make sure that we could see our frame there. Thank you for checking out this M Title Restyle tutorial. M Title Restyle is now available on the motionvfx.com website. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.